How'd you guys get started in the business? He's been queuing forever. Over well, um, 30 years plus. Yeah. Um, Back in Chicago. So we were the house that everybody came to on the weekends. Um, party up, cook a lot. And our friends encouraged us to get into business. Um, mm -hmm. At that time, we were just like, no, nah, it's never going to happen. Um, and then one day I had, was watching the Food Network and they had a run of uh, competition shows on. Right. And a little light bulb went off in my head, and I kid you not, the very next day I get the paper, I open it up, and there's a full page ad for the Alameda County Fair Amateur Rip Cook Off. I filled it out, sent it in. Mm. I didn't tell him until about two weeks later. Mm -hmm. He didn't believe me. Um, long story short, we went. It's a two round competition. You got to get through the first round to get to the finals. We made it to the finals. We placed, and. Uh, the rest is uh, pretty much history. A lot of trial and error in between, but yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, we were talking before about competition. Most of the competitions that you go to require you to make your own rubs mm -hmm. and make your own sauces. Um, and then when you're dealing with people that have been our trained judges and know what to look for in the meats, um, there is definitely a huge learning curve on learning how to perfect that meat. I mean, it took us probably, I'm going to retract a little bit. So after we did that competition, we thought we were big and we went and did a, a big boy competition. And uh, it, it was bad. We went out there with our little backyard smoker. These guys are with their big <laughs> giant rigs. And I just like, baby, we're so far out of our league. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it was our first time really trying to do a brisket right. or a shoulder. So I can say you had your tough brisket handed to you guys. Pretty much, pretty much. And so we went back to the drawing board and we spent quite a bit of money, killed mm -hmm. a whole lot of brisket, killed a whole lot of shoulder. And eventually we got it right. And now we... But he knows how to produce that meat that just kind of right. melts in your mouth. No teeth required. That's right. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that on how delicate and tender the meat is. Matt, how do you prepare the meat? Smoking it, what is your technique? You don't have to tell us your secret herbs and spices, however. How do you do it? Uh, it's knowing, uh, knowing how the meat is, knowing where the fat content is, learning how to trim it so that there's not a whole lot of fat on it. Uh, there's a fat cap on top of the brisket, per, per se and you have to learn how to, to trim it properly. Um, the shoulder itself is pr it's pretty much a no-brainer. It's what you season it with mm -hmm. um, and knowing how long to cook it. Each particular piece of meat weighs differently, so each particular piece of meat takes a different types of care. Mm -hmm. um, Tri-tip for me, I don't consider barbecue, but my customers love it, so I keep it on there. First, I used to grill it, and when we used to do the farmer's market, I had my little baby smoker out there, my mobile, and I would, I would have it marinated in my own type of seasonings, mm -hmm. uh, primarily a teriyaki-based seasoning. And I'd throw it on the grill, let it sizzle up for 45 minutes to an hour, and then serve it straight out. Here in the restaurant, you can't do it like that because it has to be done proper, it has to be done right away and then served. Sometimes you're, you're holding it too long and then the, part, the muscles in the meat contract after a particular mm. amount of holding time, so I can't do that anymore. Right. So now what I do, I developed a way of how I can smoke it. Uh, comes out a little medium rare, but of course it's a steak roast. Uh, then, then we experiment with all other kind of things. Stuffed uh, pork tenderloin, uh, little pieces of tenderloin wrapped in bacon, uh, we did spaghetti, barbecue spaghetti last week, and it just well, flies out of the shelf. This is our extension of our home. We mm -hmm. want you to feel comfortable here. We want you to enjoy the food. And if there's something out of whack, we want to know about it. Right. And we so want to treat you like family. Improve. That's mm -hmm. our whole goal is, you know, we feed you like family. Our commitment to our customers is that we will never feed you anything you won't eat. And Matt and I are extremely picky about what we about what we eat. Now you don't use salt in your recipe. No. Absolutely not. I have high blood pressure. Okay. Only bad is our greens. Yeah, because okay. I do use a small right. piece of salt pork when I cook the greens. Other than that, though, mm -hmm. it's pretty. It's pretty <laughs> much. It's pretty much salt free. Mm -hmm. um, and we found that if we use uber fresh herbs we get them from they're organic we get them from um, a company in the city and we found that when you're using the freshest of the freshest of herbs you don't need the salt you don't miss it 
good. We have a lot of Texans that come in here. We, matter of fact, we're kind of like a destination point for mm -hmm. out of towners. So when they go online to find out where there's a good barbecue, our name pops up, so they they're inquire about it. So they come in, and first thing they want to know is like, what do you know about brisket? When they taste our brisket, they reminds them of home. And it you are also celebrities. A couple of, for instance, as you guys have, you know, made your own different stores. And what happens when you go to the stores, let's say Costco, for instance, or Safeway, what happens? We hear all the time, that's barbecue. You're the best. We love you. Wow. Yeah. So we learned how to sling food really relatively, relatively fast. We like to call it slow fast food here. It we takes a it. long time to cook it. Mm -hmm. It's done with a whole lot of love, but we get it out to you fast. Slinging food is what they do here. I'm telling you, come here, you won't be disappointed. Fat Matt's barbecuing Oakland. Mm -hmm.